AWS friends. In this short video let's have a look on the AWS Session Manager. This is a useful feature to connect to your EC2 instances straight ahead on the web console. For example, if you're on holiday or on weekend and you don't have your work laptop with you, you don't have your key pairs, but here you can connect to your EC2 instances straight ahead without any key pairs or SSH. Let's have a look. You find the session manager in the AWS systems manager. So if you on the service dashboard, you can switch to systems manager and then scroll down a little bit and here you find the session manager. You can start a session here, you get an overview about your already um, executed sessions and you have some preferences where you can set log settings, for example, I'm yeah, logging out to CloudWatch, you can also log out to S3. This is kind of simple, you can use KMS service for encryption. Um, I have these preferences, please have a look what you will need, then we can go to the session and start a session. Of course, the first thing we're going to need is a EC2 instance. I have launched already a example EC2 instance. There's one more thing we have to do. We need a instance role for our EC2 instance, which allows to use the session manager. So let's create a role. We need a service, of course, EC2. And we're going to add now this systems manager policy to our EC2 instance role and I'm going to create this role. So here's our role. This role must be attached as instance role to our sessions manager EC2 example. And now we are ready to connect from our session manager to our instance. So we on the sessions tab, we say start session. You should find all your EC2 instances which have the agent running. These are the newer machine images from Amazon, Ubuntu and Windows and which have the policy attached. If you have instances running in a private subnet, please use private link to be able to connect to them. And now I'm going to start a session for my EC2 instance and I'm connected. So I didn't need a key pair, I didn't need the URL, I didn't need this SSH command, this is quite easy. And that's it for the Systems Manager Session Manager. Thanks for listening and see you on the next video.